Hey everyone, it's Up North Collectors here. We are opening up 2022 Top Series 2 Baseball. This set had all the markings of a horrible set, um, but last minute Tops added some SPs to it. That made it go from a set that almost nobody wanted to now something that people are going to want to open. Um, I, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Yeah, go ahead. I would still say that it is a pretty horrible set, besides the short prints. Right, right, um, right. The auto checklist and stuff is always decent in Series 2. It's hard to get the good guys, but like I've seen Wander Autos pulled out of here. I've seen some yeah. really good stuff. It's just a matter of getting it. Yeah, that's right. Um, but these hobby boxes are still fairly expensive. Um, $99 is, I think we paid $99 for this, or $95, um, and got it on eBay. Um, I don't think I ever bought from the seller before, but he shipped it out really fast. Um, and yeah, we got it here on Monday. Uh, the release was Friday. So I think we have some a silver pack. This is, it looks like silver pack beef. No, no, no I don't think so. A trout. Oh, trout. Cool. Nice. And a Badoo and Matt Brash. No. Cool. Yeah, no, oh, it is. No, it's, it a is. it's a gold. It's a gold, yep. I thought it looked thicker. Yeah, the so I don't I really don't like how they do the yeah, gold. Yeah, the gold is it's like tell, just look at the darker. difference. Do you see it? No, yeah. you don't. You it, really don't. It's but, darker, that's hey, all it is. Getting a parallel of the silver pack is a pretty good start. So you're getting what are you getting in here? Twenty four packs now? Is it it's twenty four, right? I think so. Um uh, fourteen cards per pack. Four, I think. You yeah, twenty four twenty four twenty four 24 cards a pack. And then you get 14 cards in a pack, whereas it used to uh, be the, what, 36 and you got... 36 and 8 or 36 yeah, they, and they definitely cut back on the amount of cards you get, but... Yeah, it's been like that for a while. Yeah, now, it has. At this point. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, you're looking for those two SPs. Other than that, O'Neill uh, Cruz no, has a rookie. No, it's three. Oh, yeah, because... Maybe it's four. Is there, there a four? So, it's Torkelson, Rodriguez, Rodriguez and uh, Witt. Bobby Witt, and I think maybe a pitcher for the... Um, Marlins, I believe. Oh, but, that guy? Yeah. Uh, it starts with a C. Yep, I know exactly his, who you're talking about. I can't think of his name, though. Benintendi, Kirk, Thompson, and Miller. Yeah, so besides that, I mean, this set is uh, fairly difficult. There's just not going to be much in here. Um, but those SPs are the big chase. They are selling very, very well. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you know how common or uncommon they are? I've heard that it's about one a case, but I do not know. Um, I don't know. I haven't. I I saw just when that came out, and people, you know, were all hyped up about it. But I haven't seen anybody do, you know, uh, you know how rare they are. Kind of. Uh, well, there's post no or odds. Video. So right. It would just purely be based off of watching tons of case breaks. Right. And seeing right. How and often seeing how often. Up. Yep. Yeah. So. Or, or if Tops has released some kind of, you know, they hint won't. as to they uh, won't. how easy they are to pull. And... We got a gold. A gold. Kevin Gosman. So the issue of Series 2, um, in terms of parallels compared to Series 1, is Series 2 really needs to get carried by strong rookies because, like, there's no Tani in here. Um, but Series 1 is going to have most of the bigger stars in it. They yeah. squeeze some of those guys in the Series 2, but, but for the most part, not really. It's usually a very soft checklist with a lot of, like, um, there's Joey Bart, but like Zach Collins, Will Myers, like guys that are decent, but uh, yeah, not, not the top tier guys. Exactly. They usually they usually throw a few of them in there, but there's a Joey Bart, future Joey stars, Bart, yeah, Rainbow Foil, Reese Hoskins, which makes getting like there's no uh, Mike Trout parallels to chase or you know whatever parallel you're thinking of to chase in here. There's not, yeah, not and, that. and they don't really update um, the players on their new teams and all that. That's usually for update. So got a green in here. It'd be interesting to see how hard the parallels are to get. I would assume it's going to be similar to Series 1. Yeah, I would like assume. Possible, but yep. Let's say they didn't make quite as much of this. Pitcher green. Uh, rookie. Four ninety nine. Hey, bad. anytime you get a Dodger rookie, even if it's a pitcher, it's not always There's bad. O'Neill Cruz. Yeah, so O'Neill Cruz is probably the top guy to chase out of here, other than the SPs. At least he was. Um, but we'll see. As far as I know, he still is. Yeah. Um, there's not really anyone else. Yeah, all the other names. There's a lot of good guys, but you know, no Wander Franco type uh, players. Generation now, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh has actually turned out to be quite a good player. Yeah, he is. Uh, kind of interesting. But definitely better than Joe Adele. Start. Yeah. Um, Brandon Marsh is definitely a solid starter for the Angels and a big contributor. Now that um, first one, who is that? Oh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah, no, I. I 
Not the guy that you're thinking of. I know who you're thinking of. Not him. Mejia. There's a Correa. That looks kind of funny. That's on the uh, Astros, right? Yeah. Not yeah. funny, though. Just a base pack. Uh, usually the SPs in here are flipped over. Obviously, if you know, you'll you'll get one of the big guys if it's one of the Carlson. Right. They don't have a base card. So. I think uh, the Julio Rodriguez is a landscape card, so the horizontal. And Bobby Witt, I think, is the regular He's vertical. You know, vertical. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, Turkelson is a vertical as well. Yeah, so at least that does give Series 2 some chase. That was pretty much what people were kind of banking on tops doing because... Yeah, because the checklist was miserable. It's <sighs> brutal, yeah. And honestly, I don't really... I think we have our relic in here. Relic, yep. yep. So you get either a relic or an auto. Typically in a case of Series 1, you're getting... Mm, look at that. That's not, not bad. bad. Kind of a cool looking Mookie Betts game used. Yeah, Betts is uh, having not a, a bad good one season. I mean, it, it's probably a ten dollar card, but still yeah. cool um, to get. Yeah, Mookie Betts right now is like a front runner for the NL MVP. So. Yeah, he's, he's he started off really slow, and now he's taken off. I want to say he's like in top ten in home runs. So yeah, Mookie Betts is a stud. You yeah, can't count him. He's on awesome. Him. I mean, when his cards were low, I was like, man, time to buy Mookie Betts because the guy is like perennial all-star for sure yeah cards in general have just dropped though which yeah right needed to happen right. so along with everything else if you're paying attention to the economy we're making this video on monday uh the june 13th, 13th of june. Uh, and the stock market and crypto have both been yeah not destroyed good. Yeah, so not good uh something to watch out for with cards be careful obviously every time you go to the gas pump it doesn't get any cheaper Ooh. Too bad it's Lewis Brinson, but a Mother's Day pink. Mm, out of that's 50. cool. Yeah. Yeah, not the name you want. Uh, but honestly, not bad so far. Three parallels. Yeah, pretty good. Now we'll see if the so. second half see the is full of duds or maybe, what. Maybe it is. Usually how we divide the boxes like in, you know, straight down the middle, half half and half. So we'll see. Um, and usually it doesn't work out. Usually one of us can yeah, everything yeah, right, the other person right. gets hosted. In the old so. days, we used to fight over who would get the... Uh, of the hits now we're not quite as greedy as that high five, high highway. five highway that's interesting oh manual mark go so we have a justin verlander and yeah the so you know here's obviously one of the rookies you know not a big name um but uh, they kept out so many people out of this. Uh, you had Suzuki for the Cubs. Um, you had uh, the uh, shortstop for the Astros. Uh, what trying to think of his name off the top of my head. Um, but anyways, a whole bunch. I mean, that's just two out of like probably I don't know how many guys they left out. So it will be very interesting to see. Um, I'm glad they did the short prints this way uh, with the big guys versus what they did with Vlad Guerrero in 2019 um, because Vlad's short print was pretty common. Um, yep. And his update rookies then had very little value, uh, whereas with Acuna, his bat down is very uncommon and his update rookies still have some pretty significant value. So hopefully that's more like what uh, these guys' uh, update rookies will be like. Yeah, the the interesting thing will be to see how easy, if you can even pull them out of uh, retail, because that'll make a big difference on retail. Well, that's a cool looking card. Yeah, sweet shades. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, insert. They didn't have that in um, series one. No, the one thing that did tank like totally from tops in series one were those home field advantage. Yeah, they cards. they made way too they many of them. Bombed. Yeah, those things were like. Like I sold a Mookie Betts the other day for like seven dollars, I think, yeah. like ten dollars or something. Yeah, like they, nothing. yeah, they, they, they uh, bombed really. Fast. And there's a Noah Syndergaard in Angels uniform. That's interesting. Um, so some of them are in their current uniforms, but I don't know that many of them are. Most are not. All right, come on. Where's our short print? The guy that I actually want to pull out of any of them is Julio Rodriguez. To me, he's performing the best out of all of them. Not that Bobby Witt is um, not going to do well. Uh, but uh, Rodriguez has definitely come on pretty strong as of late. I think he, he leads the league in stolen bases, and he has uh, just under 10 home runs, I want to say. Uh, he started off really slow. 
Um, it takes people a while to get used to big league yep. pitching. There's a that's Shane a, Baz. That's the guy. Yep. So he's one of the top uh, guys in here. He's a pitcher for the Rays. That's a bad combo. Right. I mean, the Rays are always good and they're fun to watch, but yeah, no one. Cares. They just have no hobby love. And that manager's uh, style with pitching is not very favorable. To right, pitchers, so. right, right, right. Yeah. No hitter, pull him out. Um, uh, Randy at Rose Arena has been, He's been, on, been a on a tear lately. And I'd say Randy at Rose Arena is probably one of the most exciting players to watch in all baseball. Uh, he will do things that always surprise you. Uh, yes. You know, a, unconventional. Uh, fun guy. The other day he ran out and gave a kid a bat. Um, he is always trying to go for home no matter what. I mean, he's just a go for broke type of player, but he's actually good, uh, which, you know, is a rare combination. He takes massive risks. Yeah, massive risk, but they pay off frequently, and not that many people are that aggressive. So it's fun to watch. I mean, Fernando Tatis is another guy I think of, Acuna. Is he back yet? No. Uh, really? Uh, he is not. He should be coming back soon, though. At least not not that I know of. Uh, I, I haven't, I haven't seen I him. I definitely would have heard about there him. There he is. Yeah, a powerful honor. Don't fall off a motorcycle right before baseball season, kids, and yeah. snap your wrist. Pro- okay, so probably just, you know, word of the wise, probably don't ride a motorcycle if you are a professional player. But You know that you a know. lot of, like, like in, for instance, in Patrick Mahomes' contract, like some of the clauses yeah. are that he cannot ride a motorcycle, yep. he can't snowboard. Yep. He can't, because, I mean, look, Andrew, right. football, we're talking football right. now, but right. Andrew Luck went snow, I mean, he already had shoulder problems, went snowboarding, like, ripped his shoulder out of place, and right. it was pretty much done. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah, you can't do this, you can't do that. Yeah, because anything involves you know major injury and there's like no some skiing, of those no bungee jumping no yep. <laughs> yeah so it's kind of funny but this card is stuck to the back here ichiro oh, i got excited for a second that's interesting so that's a sp, SP. i'll look it up real quick ichiro um oh wait yeah sp okay yeah, yeah i decided saw the red stat um and you see the code on the bottom here bottom right um, is 65. So let's see this Nick Gordon. Definitely is not an SSP. 40, 47. Yeah. No, great. definitely not an SSP. Um, usually the SSPs are um, even more unique. It's like a million of those already listed. So Yeah. What does it go for? A like few bucks. $5. Yeah. Five to ten dollars maybe. Yeah, that's the problem when these boxes are so high. There's just not h- hardly any value in them. You have to hit something huge, and then you barely make your money back on some things, unless it's, like, really big. Um, but At $100, it's pretty difficult to make your money back. Yeah, it, it is very difficult, especially when your parallels are going to be these guys that are really kind of lower-tier players. And, uh, you know, any of the rookies be, you know, aren't going to really fetch much value. So I would say it's one of the sets that, eh, I don't know, you want to really avoid ripping a lot of because uh, even if you hit one of those SPs, you're, you're, there's no way you're going to just buy one. even break even. If you really want them, just buy them. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, I'd definitely like to rip a few more uh, uh, of this version, um, either hobby or jumbo. I have to do some more research to see which one they're pulling more of the short prints out of. But I would definitely not go crazy on this product. Right, I think it will come down a little bit, but it's hard to know if like JR yeah. or something goes nuts, then right. it probably won't. So it just depends. We have not pulled that weird wander card yet. Oh yeah, what is that card? It's like it's a rookie, but he's like with someone else. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Just to get him in the set. There's that Aaron Judge. He is like just insane this year. Toasty. Yep. All right, so if we get one out of this last pack, that'd be awesome. But my side had really yeah, side had nothing. nothing. Had that short print, um, but other than that, it was really nothing. Yeah. But that's how it goes usually. Um, seems like that's how it was with Series 1, too. It was like all on one side of the box. All right, there's a Cronenworth. The Padres are really good. What is this? Yeah, no. Congratulations, you have a home run challenge card. Those are kind of tough to pull this year. Luis or Robert. Ones. Yeah, so no short print. You know, once again, I'm not saying the guys from that we bought this from from eBay pull all the short prints out of their boxes, sold us a box, but 
whenever I buy on eBay and I'm not sure the seller, I always, you don't know because sometimes they list like three boxes and out of a case of twelve, and then you're like, well, why only three? Um, just to let, just a thought. I mean, definitely this box was not tampered with at all. Um, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, who knows with the short print stuff? If you pull a short print on your first one, maybe sell the rest of your boxes. The reality is, a lot of LCSs probably do the same thing, though. So I mean, right? It's, That's right. Exactly. It doesn't really make that much. Of no, a it doesn't make that much difference. Always, just always look at the feedback that people give it, and if there's shady stuff on the just feedback, buy from somebody. Buy Even from if you're paying a little more, uh, buy from someone you trust. Yep, and we've had a lot of good boxes from eBay, so don't shy away from eBay either. Um, we've had some really good boxes, and this box was, you know, solid. It wasn't anything horrible, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have fun collecting.